Yeah, can we talk about her later? Grab the crystals and let's go. Uh. <laughs> gone. Help me! Whoop. Whoop. Welcome to Simple Review, the series where I briefly play a game, review it, and keep it simple. In today's review, I will be covering a survival horror RPG called Chernobyl Light. Before we get into this, I think it's important to note that although this gameplay is from my Xbox Series X, this is just the standard Xbox version of the game and not the Xbox Series enhanced version. So in this video, you'll be seeing 30 FPS rather than 60 FPS, which would be offered in the Xbox Series version, which is not available right now. Now getting started, the story for this one follows a man named Igor who is an ex-employee of the Chernobyl power plant. He returns to investigate the disappearance of his fiance. Of course, with this being a horror styled game, this does not go as planned and our man Igor has forgotten some very important details so we have some crazy monsters and bad guys running around trying to stop us. Now when it comes to gameplay, this game will have you experience a mashup of game genres. So throughout gameplay, you will have this survival style gameplay where you are scavenging items, ordering NPCs to help you scavenge, building a base, and making sure you are physically and mentally healthy. You will also have a standard FPS experience where you are just shooting enemies and monsters and you also have your casual horror game experience where you need to sneak around and not get caught by enemies or a monster. On top of all of this, you will also be making decisions that send you down different paths of the story so not every playthrough will be the same. And that's pretty much all that this game has to offer. Now from my experience, I'd have to say I found this game to be enjoyable and a decent port of the PC version. From my playthrough, I didn't experience any bugs or anything like that. I found the story to be interesting enough to keep me wanting to play more, and the visuals, although capped at 30 FPS, were pleasant to look at, and I hope to revisit this game once the Xbox Series version becomes available. However, with this game being a mashup of genres, it does struggle to provide a very well-developed horror experience. So if you're looking for something really scary, you may be a little disappointed with this one. It seems to focus a lot more on the storytelling and the survival aspects, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just not going to give you that full-blown horror experience. So keep that in mind if you are looking into this game, hoping it to be a decent scary game. So now with all that being said, I'd have to give this game 8 pepperonis out of 10. Chernobyl Light offers an interesting take on the events of Chernobyl that is showcased in its own RPG experience. Overall, if you were worried about this game being a bad PC port, you have nothing to worry about because this one seems to be done right. Just make sure to wait for the Xbox Series version of the game if you're wanting that new gen experience. And that'll do it for this review. If you found this review to be helpful or you would like to see more reviews, Please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my channel where I post game reviews and game guides.